You should ask them, like, y'all ready for y'all ready for this five minute mile? I'm giving everything I got. I'm trying to throw up. Two years ago, we actually uh, lost in, in the championship, and uh, we had two of our senior players that year, uh, Charlie Marquardt and uh, Jalen Morris, who are uh, playing overseas ball now, one plays in the NBA actually, and then we made, uh, made it all the way to the championship and lost uh, pretty much because we, we, didn't, we didn't get a 50-50 possession. It comes loose, Marquardt has it, but doesn't get the shot off! Marquardt didn't get the shot off at the buzzer, and we go to overtime. Malloy settling things down, outside it comes for Dennis. Dennis's pass is picked off by Wattler. Wattler's on the run attacking the basket. Wattler absorbs the contact, play on. Wattler misses the shot, Corbett stolen by Wattler. Back and forth we go, McFarland takes the touchdown pass, leads up, good, and the foul. Oh my God. Goodness! What an atmosphere here at Hubble Gymnasium. Wattler, fall away, jumper, front rim, Reyes with the rebound, Reyes with the right hand, goes glass! Well, it's been all Reyes here in the overtime, defensively and offensively. An offensive rebound and a putback, a pair of blocked shots, extends the lead. Stack by three. Jenkins crosses over on Mitchell, hands for Gazzardi, Gazzardi loses it and travels! And Gazzardi didn't handle a pass cleanly. You know, again, you got to look more for Marquardt. He is not getting the ball in his hands. I know that Gazzardi has position on the low blocks, but right now you have to get Marquardt the basketball. Watch the replay here. Nice pass underneath, but Gazzardi couldn't handle it. He shuffles his feet. Steve, no matter how you do it, you have to get Charlie Marquardt the basketball. Stack by three, 85-82. Two minutes to play in overtime. Here's Wattler for Reyes. Reyes faces Morris, backs his way in. Pivot step, leans in, right hand, front rim off. Rebound wrestled away by McFarlane. Basket counts, and the foul. Shaquille McFarlane with the putback. With 12 seconds to go, he gets into the forecourt. McFarlane dribbling it out with nine. St. Thomas Aquinas spreading the floor. Mitchell has it. Marquardt tried to feint them and go for the steal. With two, with one, it's over. Back to back, stack. The St. Thomas Aquinas College Spartans are the East Coast Conference men's basketball champion. We always talk about the importance of like winning the, the small battles, you know, the rebounding, 50-50 possessions and stuff like that. And so we had, we had lost that battle and ended up losing the championship. And so at that time, our seniors this year were sophomores. And so the, the next year after that, we had a tough year, tumultuous year. Uh, but we ended up making it to the playoffs, ended up getting to the semis uh, in the ECC, and ended up uh, laying an egg in the, uh, in, the, in the semifinals and ended up, and ended up losing. And so last year, our seniors this year were juniors. So coming into this year, we had a pretty good, uh, a pretty good understanding of what we was coming into the season with. We had a lot of ex a lot of experience in regards to you know what it takes to win, how it feels to lose big, uh, you know uh, team camaraderie. We had a lot of that coming into the season, so we knew that you know we had uh, the pieces in regards to uh, like pillars on our team to be successful. And then we, we had a, a, a very good freshman class that came in uh, uh, this year. Who, who, definitely helped us out major in regards to where we're at. So when, when, you, when you compile all of those things going into the season, we knew that we had the ingredients to be successful. Uh, our goal was to cut down the net from the very beginning of the year. And so preseason, uh, me and Coach spoke about what is it going to take very early on to 
uh, to create a, a culture this year, specifically for this year, that, was, that is going to have a lasting effect enough to allow us to endure things that happen in the course of a season so that we don't break and that, you know, ultimately we'll be successful and be the last man standing.